This is a pretty fun build. Now the reason I made this build was for movement mostly, using grapple and ascension. And then I decided to build around the fact that ascension amplifies and jolts targets. Getting into the build real quick. Our super is silence and squall. Abilities, marksman's dodge, withering blade, and grapple. Aspects, stylish executioner, and ascension. For the fragments, we have facet of hope, protection, sacrifice, awakening, and purpose. For the weapon, I do recommend using something that can debuff. Here I'm using the buried bloodline. You could use something like sunshot though. Just as long as it applies a debuff, then you're good. Heavy weapon of your choice, and either a strand or stasis primary. Now for the artifact mods, you'll want shield crush and transference, void hegemony, radiant orbs, and galvanic armor, and either creeping chill or threaded blast depending on whether you are running a stasis weapon or a strand weapon. Stasis weapon is probably your best option. For the mods we have siphon mods and heavy ammo finder, focusing strike and heavy handed, resist mods, insulation, invigoration and absolution, as well as utility kickstart and not outreach because it is useless. Here I am running a class item with spirit of coyote giving me two class ability charges. For the first slot, I would recommend Galanor, but unfortunately I don't have that. You could also run the new exotic, Gifted Conviction. This will give you damage resist and jolt more targets. Now this build is going to focus, obviously, on spamming Ascension. We have built around trying to get Ascension as much as possible, as well as getting our melee Using your melee with slow targets, killing them will make you invisible. Ascension jolts targets, so that also makes you invisible. With this build, we are also stacking many different sources of damage resist. Galvanic armor, facet of purpose, giving us frost armor, facet of protection, as well as the transcendence damage resist. Now we are also running facet of sacrifice, so we can get transcendence as quick as possible and transference so that we refund transcendence energy. If you are running buried bloodline like I am and you have the catalyst, you will get a void overshield for killing targets who are weakened. And since we don't have the fragment that makes us radiant, we are running radiant orbs, giving us a little extra damage. Field crush is there so we can get our melee and grenade faster. And with all these effects, you'll just be going invisible all the time after every single kill. Great survivability, enemies won't be shooting at you because you're invisible, if they do shoot at you, you have all the damage resist in the world, and not only that, you are incredibly fast with grapple and ascension, so that's pretty fun. Try to pop transcendence as much as possible, try to pop your super as much as possible, and you should be fine. Honestly, a pretty fun build, ability spamming, except you aren't spamming combination blow, because that's a little boring, dodging and punching all the time. Now you actually get to use your other abilities. You'll be flying around all over the place. You'll be spreading debuffs everywhere. You'll have Amplified and Radiant. Insane amounts of damage, insane amounts of damage resist. That is pretty much it. One more thing. If you use Ascension right when you hit the ground, it will not consume your class ability charge. It won't shoot you up but it still activates. Now if you time this perfectly, it will shoot you upward and it will not consume your class ability. So that's just a cool little trick there. You won't really need to use it though. You pretty much only need Ascension or the Amplify. The jolt is a plus. Now that is pretty much it. Again, it's a fun build. Could be pretty good for high level content, but might be a little harder to use. Just something you might want to try if you're tired of combination blow.